Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy DJ Chris. Happy New Year. And I'm um, just giving you a quick tip on a technique I like to use when I'm mixing my dubs. Now, when you get a dub, usually um, you get a, what is called, we call a split or untied. And that means is it's a stereo track, but the vocal will be on one side, the instrumental will be on another side. Now, what this is great for is you can remix your uh, vocals onto any instrumental you want you can play around with it you can chop it up you can do whatever you want it gives you great creative freedom um, also you want to get your dubs dry meaning that uh, you add your own effects and your own processing because you know it, it's nice to personalize your your dubs the way you want it to sound um, I don't always like the engineer to mix my dubs for me so I always request them split and I always request them to be dry uh, with no processing so let me show you what I'm talking about here if you look at the um, level meter on the playback, you will see only the right side is going to be jumping. This is the Double Electric Sound Station. Now, that is um, a split dub, okay? It's a stereo track. Like I said, one side is vocal, one side is instrumental. So to cure this, what we do is, I'm using a program called Audacity. It's a free program. It's really good. I don't like to mix down on it, but what I do is I like to prepare my mixes in it. Um, because it's very easy to use. So you simply go to the drop down menu on the track itself. You scroll down to split stereo to mono. Now what this does, it makes it two separate tracks, but they will be filling up both sides of the meter, as you can see here. This is the double electric sound station. Now if you notice, both sides are jumping. So further, if you, uh, if you like Audacity and you want to mix down, they have great effects and things to use, and that's fine. But me personally, I like to use Ableton or sometimes Logic when I'm mixing. So a simple way to export your stems is to go to File and Export Multiple. And I made a folder called Frankie Paul Stems. Um, now when you export, and I already exported, so I'm not going to do it here, but you hit Export and it will export the vocal as one track and the instrumental as another track into whatever folder, whatever destination you want. And what that does is uh, when you open up your DAW, your Pro Tools, your Ableton, whatever you use, all you have to do is drag your those WAV files um, onto uh, your DAW and then you can start mixing from there. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, um, definitely hit me up. Definitely feel free to ask. I'm going to do a few more tutorials as I come across things that um, you know, people might need. I know this is a real lack of dub plate mixing tutorials. And, um, you know, anything I could do to help will, you know, I'll throw up if I feel any, uh, any tips that might help people, you know, would be worthy of YouTube. I will definitely put it up. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this useful. Like I said, Happy New Year to everybody. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video.